Hi there, my name is Larissa and welcome to The Difference Between Banks and Credit Unions presented by YoungFreeAlberta.com Part 2, Location, Location, Location and ATMs In Part 1, you saw what separated banks from credit unions in terms of structure. This time, we're going to take a closer look at where that structure is located. Though they have many branches, not that kind, banks are usually based in a location that has very tall buildings and is considerably far from where you live. Credit unions, however, are based locally oh, and therefore can make decisions locally. What does this mean? It means that instead of this... Hi, I'd like a loan, please. Oh, I don't know. Let me just make sure Toronto is okay with that. Do -do -do. It would be more like this. Hi, I'd like a loan, please. Okay, I'll help you set it up. It also means that instead of this... I uh, need some more checks. Oh, I don't know. Let me just make sure Toronto is okay with that. It would be more like this. I uh, need some more checks. Okay, here you go. It also means that, well, you get the idea. It's just another reason to consider getting a young and free account. Go to youngfreealberta.com for details. But wait a second, you say. What about ATMs? I could go and open a young and free account in town, but there isn't a Commonwealth branch near my house and school and places I spend money. No sweat. With a young and free account, ATM transactions are completely free from any credit union or Alberta Treasury branch in the province, and even beyond. Not bad, considering banks even charge you for using another bank's ATM machine. Straight up. This has been part two. Thanks for watching. Hello? Is this Toronto? Oh. Wrong number.